Hi there! Today I'm going to play Murderer's Row. There are 18 cards and a very brief set of rules. In a nutshell, deal 10 cards in a row, kill 9 of them. Set up, shuffle the cards and deal 10 in a, into a single row of face-up cards. Set the other 8 cards to one side, begin. Turns, each turn select one active card, resolve its effect, and then make an make it inactive by flipping it face down. Notice that this means that a card is active for the purposes of resolving its own effect. Important, most effects have mandatory conditions. If those conditions are not met, the card cannot be activated. E.g., the swordsman cannot be activated if it is not next to any active cards. If, as a result of resolving its effect, there is only one card left alive, you win. Otherwise, resolve another card. If you ever reach a situation in which no card may be legally activated, and you do not have exactly one card left, then you lose. Thus, an active assassin and an active tank, an active swordsman and an inactive card, and no cards remaining alive are all losing configurations. Active slash inactive, a face-up card is active, its effect may be used, a face-down card is inactive, its effect cannot be used. Alive slash dead. All cards in the row, active or inactive, are alive. When an effect kills a card, remove it from the row. Slide the ceramic cards together to fill the new empty space. Thus, killing a card chases, changes adjacency and distance, at least for some cards. And uh, the rest of this I really don't need to read. Um, so I'll start by shuffling the cards a bit. Side for the moment. And then I deal out ten cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. and 10, and then set the other say, 8 cards aside. Alright, I'm going to start with the Poisoner. Kill the next card to act after its effect resolves. So now the Poisoner becomes inactive. Next, I'll use the backstabber. Kill an adjacent inactive card, which means I will kill this one, and then the poisoner kills the backstabber since it was the next one to act. I can actually put this up here and shift the cards together. Sniper. Kill one card, which is four or more spaces away. One, two, three, four. So I will kill the booby trap with the sniper. And then the sniper becomes inactive. I will use the Mad Bomber. Kill this card and any cards adjacent to it. So the Mad Bomber will also kill the Arsonist. I will use the Assassin, which says move this card adjacent to any inactive card, and then kill that card. Well, I don't need to move it. It's already adjacent to an inactive card, so I will kill that card, and then the Assassin becomes inactive. The 
the knight says move this card adjacent to any active card and then kill that card. So I will move the knight next to the bugler and kill it. That makes the knight inactive. And then I will use the tank. Kill an inactive card, which is exactly two spaces away, and the card between this card and it. Well, there's this card, which is inactive and two spaces away, so I will kill it. And the card between this card and it is this one. So the knight dies. The tank becomes inactive, but it's still alive. And I win. Let's play another game. That was pretty quick. Shuffle up the cards again. Deal out ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 and 10. Set the other 8 aside. I'm going to start with the Mad Bomber. Kill this card and any cards adjacent to it. So the Mad Bomber dies, the Arsonist dies, and the Grenadier dies. I will kill, the, I will use the cannon, kill two active cards which are adjacent to each other, and I will kill the sniper and the bugler with the cannon. And then the cannon becomes inactive. I am going to use the airstrike. The airstrike says kill a random card and a card next to it. For random cards you choose a direction either left or right and then you pull a card from the deck and there's a a dice or a die symbol in the lower right hand corner which represents the distance. So two. So two left is one two. So I kill the backstabber and one of the cards that's adjacent to it. And I think I'm going to kill the booby trap. And then the airstrike becomes inactive. I'm going to use the pharmacist. It says make any inactive card active. So that becomes inactive, and I'm going to make this one active. Unfortunately, the cannon kills two active cards which are adjacent to each other, and then I don't have any active cards left other than the cannon itself, so I lose. Let's go one more time. Shuffle up the cards. Drop the card. Get back in there. Deal out ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. Set aside the rest. I am going to start with the cannon. And I'm going to use the cannon to kill the backstabber and the sniper. The cannon says kill two active cards which are adjacent to each other. So the cannon becomes inactive. 
And I'm going to use the Sentry Gun. Kill an active card, which is exactly two spaces away, and the card between this card and it. And I'm going to use that to kill the Arsonist and the Cannon. And now the Sentry Gun becomes inactive. I am going to use the Mad Bomber, and that will kill, it says kill this card and any cards adjacent to it, so that will kill the Bugler and the Doppelganger as well. Well, this is going to be interesting. Assassin, move this card adjacent to any inactive card and then kill that card. So the sentry gun dies. The assassin becomes inactive. So we have left the airstrike. Kill a random card and a card next to it. Unfortunately, if... Well, we'll say right... Four right. There is no four right, so it doesn't it doesn't go into effect. It becomes inactive, and I lose. Well, that's been Murderer's Row. As you can see, it's got uh, it's got some difficulty to it. It's got a little bit of random effect, and uh, it's got some strategy to it too. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, click the like button. Leave a comment, share it with your friends. If you didn't like the video, click the dislike button and leave a comment letting me know what you didn't like about it. Thank you for watching.